Give me all your money. Get up now. What's good to YouTube? It's your boy JLo, and we're back at it with another video. This video is quick and simple, and y'all know that I've been fighting my car since I bought it, but your boy done made some monumental progress. So if I turn my key, you guys remember this thing obviously lights up like a Christmas tree. But when I start my car now, Ain't no lights on except for that check engine light, my boy. I got all the other sensor lights to go away. The slip, the VDC, and the RAS light. So uh, I'm going to just show y'all how I did it. So let's get into it. So first to start off, I'm going to cover all bases on this video. And if you do have a slip and VDC light, the first thing that you guys want to check is those four to two. Depending on which DE or HR engine you have, check those camshaft uh, position sensors. Those will throw that light immediately. I've also heard on forms if you're low on uh, brake fluid or um, power steering fluid, it'll also throw those lights on. So check those first. But in my case, and in many of you guys' case, more than likely, you got this little fun switch right here. So I've showed you guys the switch in the other video, and I went down uh, numerous forms trying to figure out why this light was on. I replaced everything. I changed everything. No. Turns out that it's the switch. So the switch used to work and it still does work. But with this car, this car is really sensitive and particular to everything, sensors included. If you are uh, going to replace those camshaft sensors, make sure you use OEM parts. It'll save your pockets. It'll save you a headache too. Just go OEM, pay the extra money so you don't have to come back and fiddle with it later. <clears throat> but in my case, it is this little fun switch. So the way that it was wired up previously, the guy, um, actually when I bought the car, the connection was severed to the switch. So after I took it apart, I realized that uh, when I reconnected it, that the light came on, the little blue light right here came on when I reconnected it. So from there, I was pretty much still trying to figure out what it did. And I realized that it was connected to the traction control module that's sitting right in front of it. I'll take it apart for you guys and show you. So this module right here is the traction control module. And usually what people do is they'll wire the switch, the little happy switch as I call it. They'll wire the switch to that to kill all the power to it to allow them to do drifts and burnouts, stuff of that nature. So I figured out that that's what that wire was connected to, reconnected it, turned the car on, <coughs> turned it off and realized the traction was shut off, but it didn't cure my VDC and slip light. So, after doing more research, I realized that power comes from this orange wire right there. And the car is super sensitive, like I was saying. So long story short, what you have to do is get a consistent 12 volts of power to that switch at all times. And if that is interrupted, like where I had it wired at first was up to the fuse box. You need a constant 12 volts when you start the car usually everything in the car loses power for a split second and then comes back on but um the way around that is i use power from the obd2 port the obd2 port has 12 volts as long as the car has power the obd2 port has 12 powers that you can tap into 12 powers 12 volts of power that you can tap into and that allows you to when you do activate that switch and turn it on causes all the other lights to go off so with that being said just make sure you have a consistent 12 volts if you do have the happy switch and that'll cure your slip and vdc lights i know this was a quick video but it is something helpful that helped me a lot i hope it does the same for y'all i love y'all and i got some dope content coming y'all way real soon i had somebody comment a uh, video idea so i was like freak it why not so we're gonna try that video idea too later on and uh i love y'all See y'all later. It's your boy J-Lo signing off this guy. Peace.